But I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking. Hi, my name is Anil Nair, and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. We're going to find QR factorization. of matrix B is B equaling 1, 1, 1, 2, uh, 1, 3. Um, so we actually did this in the crime strip process video. And once we did that, we got if this is V1 and V2, we got U1 and U2, uh, where U1 equals uh, 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3, and U2 equals negative 1 over root 2, 0, and 1 over root 2. Um, so this gives us a Q that is 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3. Uh, sorry. And negative 1 over root 2, 0, and 1 over root 2. Um, but our R is going to equal magnitude of V1 and the magnitude of V2 as its diagonal entries. And the dot product of u1 and v2, and the dot product of u1 and v2 as its other edge. And so now this is going to be 0. So this is just using the formula for r and um, magnitude of v1 is. square root 3, magnitude of v2 is square root of 1 plus, and sorry, let's give you the magnitude of v2 parallel. Uh, and to give you a reminder, v2 parallel was negative 1, 0, 1. So magnitude of v2 parallel is going to be square root of 2 and u1 dot v2 is 1 over root 3 times 1 1 1 dotted with 1 2 3 which was 1 over root 3 times <coughs> 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6 over root 3. So this gives us an R, which is square root of 3, 0, 6 over root 3, and square root of 2. So we can write B as a product of Q and R, where Q is 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3, negative 1 over root 2, 0, and 1 over root 2. And R is square root of 3, 0, 6 over root 3, and square root of 2.